hello, Carrie Bradford here, and today I'm going to share a tip about working with your fonts. So there's one question that I get asked um, about from time to time, and that's how to make an outlined word when you don't have an alphabet that really has that feature to it. It kind of looks like this one. Now while you could use the offset feature to create an internal or an external offset to your word, I'm not exactly keen on it being so much of one way or the other. You sacrifice some of the look of the letters by doing that. So what I like to do is I like to do it with a little bit of both. So let's see how we can do that here. I'm going to come over here and grab my text tool and I'm going to choose the Arial font, just something really basic, and I'm going to make it bold so that we have something big and chunky to work with. And maybe I'm going to just put in a font size of 200 just as a, as a starting point. And I am going to type the word home. And I can already tell it's not near big enough that I want. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and enlarge that. And then now what I want to do is I want to make this a compound path. So I am going to right click. And I could either choose make compound path or convert to path. Either one will work. I'll just go ahead and choose convert to path. And now you can see we have home. And it has actually turned the letters into a path rather than being in a font state. So let's come up here to the offset window. And I'm going to choose just the offset. And you can see it automatically starts to put in an offset. And that's just way too much for me. I just want to make a small one because again, we're going to do halvesies. We're going to do like one on the outside and one on the inside. And I'm going to maybe make it, well, let's turn it to the corner. You want to make sure that you're on the corner here because you want these to be nice corners. I'm going to maybe do it at point one. And then I'm going to click off that and I'm going to grab the inside one. And now I want to zoom in just so that I can see what's going on here. And let's do an internal offset. And as you can see, it automatically starts placing one. I want to make sure I'm on corner. And let's increase our offset distance so that it's maybe, oh, let's see, point seven. That looks like that's going to give it a nice, a nice edge. So I'm just going to go ahead and click apply. So now we have our inside and outside and that central one we want to just click on and drag and just put it over here. And you can always use that for something later, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. And now let's just zoom back in here. And so now you can see it's, you know, made a really nice set of letters. But currently, we've got their two set, their two different letters. If you saw, I can just pull that away like that. So what we want to do is we want to turn these into a compound path so that when Silhouette looks at it, it's going to look at the letter as its own piece with this inside part cut out. And there's a reason we're going to do this. If you just wanted to just cut these letters as they were, you know, you're you're totally good to go. But we want to hook them all together. And to do that, they have to be in that compound path mode. So we're going to start with the H. We're going to right click and choose make compound path. The O, make compound path, select the M, make compound path, select the E, make compound path. Now, if we were to fill these with color, Let's come up to our fill tool and choose pink. You can now see that Silhouette is looking at each of those cut lines as its own individual piece per se. So now what we want to do is we want to scoot these letters close together so that they you can either have them overlap or just kind of slightly go together, whatever it is that you want. And let's grab these and just kind of move them over. And the same with the E. All right. So now we have this really cute word, it's all together. Let's go ahead and weld it all so that it's one piece so that when you go to cut it out, you can just cut it out as is and it's all connected. So we're gonna right click and choose weld. And now you can see all of your cut lines, if we remove the color, you can see all of your cut lines are there. Now, what another thing that you can do is at this point, you can take this shape and make it a make a background piece for it because if you were to go ahead and use the letters you could do it but then you would have to kind of piece them all together if you work with this you can make a solid shape out of this so that you can back it 
and have it go over the top of that and have something to adhere it to. So let's go ahead and do that. What we want to do is we want to make a copy, so we're going to click on it. And a really fast way to do copy is to just press down the Alt key and drag it down. And then you have your other, other copy there. And let's zoom in. And what we want to do now is make it so that this is all solid, but we also want to have this tiny little piece here of the O and the E have it be open so that when you look at it, it's, um, it just, I think it adds more character to it. I like it better when you've got the holes in there. So I'm going to right click and choose release compound path. And I'm going to just change the fill color to none for the moment, just so that we can see this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just um, click the inner parts of these letters here and just delete them so that we just are left with just the insides of each of those. So now what we want to do is we just want to make this a compound path. So let's select it and right click and choose make compound path. Now if we click on this and add a color to it, as we bring this piece over, let's go ahead and hit our control or command shift right bracket. As we bring this over, you can see it all fits in there just nicely. Okay, so that's just a fun tip for creating a word in an outline fashion. Thanks for stopping by.